everybody, it's Aisha and a big welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my first impressions of the Birch Box for the month of June. Now I have to say I wasn't sure on what I was going to expect from this because I've seen other people open their Birch Boxes and I was like, wow, the stuff they get in there is so good. But then when it arrived I was kind of a little bit underwhelmed. Not by everything but by just some of the stuff that was in there. Basically I'm just going to be going through and talking about some of the stuff that I got in my month's Birch Box. Just going to be testing them out, swatching them out, see what's occurring, you know. Please excuse the bland background, but I can't go home right now because it's so noisy, there's drill, and it's just a mess. <sighs> this water tastes like lead. Is that dangerous? I feel like that's dangerous. So when I ordered my first birch box, I didn't really know what to expect because I've seen other people open their birch boxes and they've got some incredible, like amazing stuff in there. And I always thought it was going to be like super expensive because of what you got inside there. When I actually went to pay at the end and stuff, I only realised that it was about 10 quid, 12.95 I think plus postage. To me, I think that's a really good deal to be honest, like even if you try it once and don't like it. It's like that pair of white journey jeans that I bought from Topshop that they were on sale for £5. I thought, well, for £5 I could wear them once and get them dirty and it would still be worth the money so I think Birchbox is such a good idea because I'm one of those people that if I have a product or something that really works for me I'm sort of less likely to go out and look for other stuff because I'm like well why would I want to look for another face cream or something if I know that the one that I've got works. I think that's why I put off getting one for so long, but I finally did. It just happened to pop up on my Facebook, like, you know, the little ads that you get at the side of the screen in the strip box, yeah. It popped up in there and I thought, wow, well, why not just click on it and just see what it is? Not gonna lie, I felt a bit stupid for not doing it sooner. So after doing 0.4 seconds of research, I put it straight into my car and then bought it another 10 seconds later. And on the delivery note, I was kind of a little bit annoyed because it said allow 7 to 14 days for it to arrive, which I thought was a bit much. Luckily for me, it arrived 5 days later, so I wasn't complaining, obviously. If you aren't familiar with Birchbox, they are a subscription company where you can order from each month. They will compile a list of things, loads of different types of products, different varieties like skin products, hair products, makeup, you know, just the cute stuff. They pick a random selection of 5 of the products that they've got listed and then package them up, send them away. <laughs> Then once they've done that, this arrives at your door. Ooh, the lighting's got a bit better in here, hasn't it? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Can I just say a huge shout out to whoever designs the birch boxes because oh my God, this thing is hella cute. Like, look at it. I mean, just look at this box. It is actually so nice. Like, look at the pineapples on it and everything. It's got like the little golden birch box thing there as well. Literally, as soon as I took it out of the box, I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to go through my selection from Birchbox and talk you through, swatch, test, see how the these babies go. First thing that I'm going to take out of my Birchbox is this, and this is the Hugens Facial Scrub. Look how cute and small it is, yeah. So this is a 10ml tester of a face scrub. Oh my god, it smells so fresh. I really want to eat it, I'm so confused. It smells like a mixture of lime and mint, which I think personally is probably one of the most refreshing smells that you could ever have. On the website, it describes the product as a creamy face scrub with rice powder particles to gently purify the skin. I haven't even used this yet, but I think that when I do, just from the smell alone, I'd probably buy it again. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to reach for in my birch box is this. This is probably the tiniest thing I've ever seen and also it's mostly in a different language so I don't really know what it is. The company is Bioderm and SPF 30 so I'm guessing that this means it's a sun cream. I'm not really too excited about this one, it's just basically sun cream isn't it? But I guess with birch box through the months they're trying to prepare you for the seasons but obviously I live in England so summer doesn't exist. I would say that this is helpful to have in your bag in case it is sunny which will never happen but you never know. It does have a nice smell to it, it's not very greasy which I kind of like so I will keep this. I'm just gonna go for this. This next thing is a Percy and Reed hairspray. As you can see it's super duper tiny which means it's perfect for travelling. If you are anything like me when it comes to packing and travelling, I always run out of room in my suitcase. I never have enough room for my products because they're all the full size ones. I don't think to ever buy the little ones. It's got that really harsh hairspray smell which I don't really like very much. But hairspray is hairspray and it's ultra fine. It doesn't really feel grainy or anything like I've got hairspray in so that's always a good sign. I'm running out of things now. 
The next thing that I have is a product from Wish, which is spelt with an extra H where it shouldn't belong. But this is a CC body cream. Underneath it, it just randomly says coconut milk. I think this is just a body cream. Oh, but it's got a bit of shimmer to it. Ooh, and it smells really good too. Yeah, now I see why they put in that little bit about coconut milk. <laughs> no, that smells so good. Oh my God, like coconut milk and popcorn. <laughs> Ignore how fluffy my arms are, but look how pretty the shimmer is on that. Oh my goodness, yeah. I've never really been into like shimmer or anything, but the other day when I went out with my friend Emily, her sister brought this um, tube of stuff with her. It was from Tony and Guy, and I think she thought it was something to make her hair shimmer, but actually it was like a body shimmer. And we ended up putting it all over our legs and our arms and stuff. It was literally like the hate was bouncing off us because we were so shimmery. <laughs> it says on the back that our formula corrects, moisturize, and smooths, which is always something that I strive for in my skin. Still admiring that shimmer. Ooh, girl, look at that. I don't want to end on a low note, but the next thing in the box is something that I'm not kind of sure about, but it is by a company that has the best name. This is a Lighten Up Waterline and Brightener pencil by Jelly Pong Pong. Yeah. I told you, the coolest cosmetics name. But it says that it's cruelty free, which is a big deal now, so props to them. Let's try and get in this, shall we? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna leave the rest of the plastic on there because I can't. But it literally smells like Crayola, which I kinda like. <laughs> oh, it's very pigmented. Okay. So as you can hopefully see, it's a very creamy consistency and it's very bright, which I quite like. They say on the website that you can use this in the waterline of your eyes, on the brow bone underneath here, which could be really good. Um, they say also like a highlighter, so you know, like here, here. It's really funny because originally I thought this was going to be a lip liner and the colour is Flash Nude. And in my mind I sort of thought, this is like a white person nude, I couldn't wear this. But now that I've actually done some research and realised that this is not actually a lip liner, I'm probably going to use this now. So that was my Birchbox selection from the month of June. I was also thinking of subscribing to some other beauty subscription services, maybe making it a series, who knows, who knows? But if you would like to see me open some more or some different ones, then please leave a comment below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Everything that I received in my Birchbox this month will be listed in the description below for you. And I guess that's it now. That's all for this week, I shall speak to you later. You better have got that one. Look at the tiny pineapples.